Hey there, I'm Ornella Hernandez with Web3 TV and I'm at the Blockdown Festival in Portugal and joining me here we have Melanie from the Blockchain Game Alliance. How are you today? I'm good, thank you. Thanks for having me. Thank you for joining me. We're both in yellow, so we yes. were coordinated. <laughs> so tell me a little bit more about your role at the Blockchain Game Alliance. Yeah, so I'm the content manager for the Blockchain Game Alliance and my job is to give exposure via content to help give visibility to from to the members and to showcase the work that they're doing and the solutions that they're providing through the content, through marketing, uh, through our websites and social media. And so what are your priorities right now, I guess, within the gaming and crypto world, what are you trying to, what message are you trying to portray? So from the Blockchain Game Alliance, we're the leading voice for blockchain gaming and what we're trying to do is to promote blockchain gaming, raise awareness of blockchain gaming and help our members to collaborate and advance um, games and projects within the blockchain space. Okay, and are you a gamer yourself? <laughs> I, I'm a bit of a retro gamer, so I like all the old school games like Street Fighter, Super Mario. Um, oh, Super Mario, me too. <laughs> the games on PC Engine, but yes, uh, so I'm a bit old school. <laughs> all right, and so <laughs> when it comes to NFT and blockchain-based gaming, um, what do you think needs to happen to kind of get the ball rolling? I know right now a lot of games are in development, it takes a long time, so what's it going to take to really get more people to... to not focus on the NFT elements and just play more fun games, <laughs> basically. Yeah, I think one of the things is to, I mean, the technology is advancing massively. And I think one of the, the biggest things is one, to raise awareness and to dispel some of the misconceptions around blockchain gaming, and also to make it easier for users to onboard into blockchain games. And there's a lot of work that's being done around that uh, through smart wallets and SDKs that games can integrate um, to, to make it more seamless for players to enter into games without this barrier of, uh, um, you know, having to have a wallet and um, going through these steps to, to get NFTs. So that's what a lot of games are working towards and that's also what I see as, um, as the future. Okay, I see. And what about here at the conference? Have you heard any interesting insights maybe from gaming or from any other of the events going on today? So I know there's been some really cool panels. Um, I got a chance to watch the fashion show and that was super cool. Really nice to see like the digital, the, the physical side of things and also to see what these guys are doing digitally as well. So I found, you know, the creativity side of things is, is really cool. Yeah, definitely. I, I actually moderated a panel on fashion in the metaverse. So I got to hear so, what some people think about it. And I asked about digital identity and maybe why some people place more value on our virtual identities versus our physical ones. I think we can say the same for gaming, right? Because people spend so much time designing the skins for their avatars or for their characters. So um, what, is, what are your views maybe on our, our digital identities and the importance of them? Um, I think for the younger generations, I think digital identity is super important and I think gaming is a really nice way, fashion also and you know the metaverse is a really nice way for people to be able to express their digital identity and to have that creativity to like create whoever and whatever you want to be. Right, have multiple personalities <laughs> basically. <laughs> and what are you looking forward to at the Blockdown Festival and the rest of your time here in Portugal? So, um, block down. So for me, working online um, is really nice to be able to get out and meet people. Um, I was at block down last year in Croatia, so I really wanted to come back because I found that it was a, a really nice space to be able to network and meet people on a bit of a deeper level. So yeah, I just wanted to come and meet people, uh, be out in the sun, obviously, which is really nice, and listen to the talks and get you know because I'm always in the gaming world. It's nice to get like a bigger over view of what's happening in the crypto space especially with fashion and other creative areas of the blockchain world yeah so what's that bubble like of the gaming world what's what can you tell us about it <laughs> Um, I really enjoy the bubble of the gaming world because you've got a bit of everything. You've got DeFi, you've got the technical aspects of blockchain, and you've also got this like really cool creativity. You know, people are really passionate about what they're doing. Um, we're really at the beginning or on the cusp of something that's going to explode. So it's a super exciting, exciting space to be. Definitely, definitely. All right. Well, thank you so much for your time today, Melanie. Thank you for having me. Thanks a lot. Thank you.